G'day folks, welcome to Billy Metal's channel. I'm Toby and today I'm out at a uh, rather picturesque uh, Lake Bull and Merai out at Camperdown in Victoria. Beautiful place. So out here to look for zircon crystals. Uh, this is a known location for um, zircons and various other minerals. Not gem quality unfortunately, so if we find anything today um, it won't be um, anything that can be cut I would imagine. But yeah, just out here to see what can uh, what can be found. Oh, there's a random tractor. So we're going to head over that way to the eastern shore of the lake and have a bit of an explore. So this uh, this lake is a, a Ma lake, a volcanic Ma. It's actually three um, volcanic eruptions. There's one here, one there, and one across there. So it makes a clover-shaped um, crater lake, basically. So vast amounts of um, volcanic rock and tuff and um, yeah, all sorts of volcanic ash has been thrown out. It's really uh, quite a spectacular landscape. So it's not that old. I believe the most recent eruption here was only around uh, 11, 12,000 years ago, they reckon. Uh, very salty lake. And then the lake on the other side of the hills there is a, a hypersaline uh, or super salty lake. And yeah, it's about 66 to 68 metres deep in the centre. I was just chatting to a, a fellow who's fishing down there. He said he's um, depth sounded at 68 metres in the centre. So I won't be swimming down to the bottom anytime soon. So now I'm going to round the kids up from the playground uh, just to the right of me. And we're going to head down across there and we'll see what we can see. There's a whole lot of rain coming by the look of it. So uh, how much filming we get done, I don't know. Fingers crossed we can find a couple of zircons. I'd really like to find a sapphire, but they're not actually, there's never been any recorded here. Uh, there were, in the old days, I believe in the 1870s or 80s, there was um, a record of diamonds being found here. Uh, there's been quite a bit of exploration for them in the 1980s, uh, possibly even more recently. And there was no trace of diamond found. It's not the right sort of rock. So I would suspect they'd found zircon crystals or something else that they mistook for, uh, for a diamond. But we'll keep an eye out for those. But let's round up the kids, head over here, and we'll do a bit of adventuring. So I've travelled a fair way down here, and uh, we've found a few interesting things. But I'll show you the sort of stuff that I'm looking for here. Uh, I just picked this spot of this one before, so I'd say that's uh, ilmenite. Nice shiny crystal of that there. There is heaps and heaps of olivine. See the green there, and the brighter green in there is some um, chrome diopside. So there's stacks of interesting mineralized stuff in here. That is, what is that? Oh, that's one of our zircons we're looking for. No, that's a piece of piece of olivine. Yeah, almost gem quality, but it's got a few cracks in it. So basically, we're just looking through all this ground here. The kids have got a distinct advantage being a lot closer to the ground. They, uh, Sophie's given me I don't know how many kilos of rocks so far to pick up. No, to carry, sorry, she's picked up. So you can see there's green and uh, interesting little bits and pieces all over the place. I haven't found any zircons yet, but um, yeah, I believe that this is the area where they found through here. Okay, so we found a spot, Sophie, uh, who's just hidden out of camera shot, reckons this is a spot to find our target zircons. So, she's moved some rocks. I'll shovel some of this volcanic ash up. Very heavily uh, mineralised stuff. Now, uh, gold panning in a volcanic lake. Obviously, you're not going to expect to find any gold, but um, they did actually find gold near Camperdown, not in here in particular, but uh, near Camperdown there was gold found in the actual um, basalt in small quantities. What was that, sorry, Seth? That'll do. Uh, I reckon a little bit more. In here, there'd be zircon, hopefully. Obviously, if you come down here for a dig, make sure you fill your holes in really neatly. We do not want to get banned from the uh, fossil king in these places. We'll wander down here. we wander over here actually. Pound it off quickly without getting my feet too wet.
gonna get wet feet here, aren't I? Bit of a uh, offshore breeze, so to speak, yet. So got some decent waves coming through. Uh, have a bit of a look through that. Yeah, so that's a shell. Yeah, so you grab it. So I've got Sophie helping with the uh, gem hunting and all of the filming. Good school holiday stuff today. Just need to find zircons for everyone. Really hard to pan with waves. They come up and they take the. Ah, uh, oh, that was my foot. It's also, these materials are a lot lighter than gold, so it's really easy to lose a heap of stuff over the edge. You found some? What'd you get? Oh, yeah. A bit of uh, olivine. Cool. Now, I don't know if you can see in the pan there. Oh, look at the mineralization. That's a shell. That. that. That's it. That is a zircon. Grey colour one. Look at the crystallisation of it. That's weird. Well, unless it's a lead pellet. It feels too heavy for zircon. Anyway, we'll have a closer look at that. Ah, oh, there we go. That is a zircon crystal. Here, Soph. Little tiny zircon crystal. Yeah, I found mine. You found yours? What'd you get? What else have we got? Look at the ilmenite in there. That's masses and masses of ilmenite. All that sparkly stuff in there. Heaps of it. I'll bring a few of these back too to stick them under the microscope. Yep, see all the ilmenite in there? Purple. Purple? That's ilmenite reflecting the sky. Cool. Well, we'll do a bit more panning. Yep, so just gonna have a look. Hang on, hang on. So have a look at this. Have a look. You can, there's a few in there. All those pale things in there are zircons and there's a bright, bright red stone in there. And just under your finger there, that's a massive chunk of uh, ilmenite. Really quite a uh, prolific pan, that one. So we'll stick some of those under the microscope and see what we can see. Found mm -hmm. one? Oh, yeah, the red one? Yep. Cool. Okay, so we're back at the car. It got a bit uh, rainy and uh, windy and slightly unpleasant out there, but we did find a reasonable amount of zircons. Uh, we'll head back home and I'll um, yeah, show you a bit of a close-up view of some of those. The kids are pretty happy. You happy back there, kids? Yeah. Both of them found interesting things. Oliver threw approximately six tons of stones into the lake. Sophie found quite a few minerals and gems. So we'll go home and have a close look at those. I would have filmed a bit more of the uh, panning and sieving, but yeah, it's mostly windy and rainy and unpleasant, so not great filming. So we'll go and uh, yeah, stick these under the magnifier and uh, see what we can see up nice and close. Back at home, I've got the treasures we found uh, lined up here. Well, some of them anyhow, we brought back an awful lot of rocks. But um, yeah, Sophie in particular brought back uh, bucketfuls of all sorts of interesting stuff. So there's some of the bigger pieces and there's a mixture of zircons and uh, well, various other bits and pieces we'll go through in a minute. But, uh, yeah, some of these olivine bombs, these are actually really, really cool. Nothing gem quality in there, that's the um, volcanic rock, the black stuff. But there's a mixture of olivine and um, chromium diopside. This is a really cool piece that Sophie found, which apparently I'm not allowed to have. It's got um, chaosutite there, that black bit under my thumb. It's uh, cemented together, basically... Um, Volcanic ash, cemented volcanic ash. There's a chunk of olivine there, olivine bomb. 
another piece there, and then just mixtures of different uh, volcanic rocks. These three are all different types of volcanic rock. And this matrix here is the um, uh, volcanic ash. So that's a, a pretty cool specimen, I reckon. Cemented together with calcite as well. So this is a, another volcanic bomb, um, olivine bomb. In a mixture of olivine and uh, chromium dioxide. There's another one there. So yeah, pretty cool. These are really interesting. These are actually this is some um, volcanic ash that's cemented together. These are the remnants of pieces of either, I don't know if it's timber or it's a, a reed of some sort. There's quite a bit of it in there. Some go right through, most go right through, but these ones it's kind of the end of the, uh, the little thing. A little bit of reed so you can actually see little bits of timber in some of these so the volcano is not that old so this reed could be a few thousand years old could be ten, less than ten thousand years old potentially or it um, yeah, could be several tens of thousands I'm really not sure interesting stuff though this is catasutite okay okay something like that catasutite I think it is <coughs> so yeah catasutite an interesting mineral I'll put a link to that to the Mindet page uh, in the description so you can get a bit more information on this stuff. I'll try and show you some of the faces there. So yeah, some nice pieces in there. That's a nice flat crystal bit. And uh, in here we have some really nice zircons, not gem quality as I mentioned earlier. There's not going to be any gem stuff in here, they're all quite fractured, but they're really well formed, pretty crystals. There's some olivine that is almost big enough to cut. So I didn't expect to find olivine quite as large as those. I don't think they've uh, come from these sort of bombs, but um, they've come out of the volcanic ash somewhere. It's olivine. This is a, a pale coloured zircon. See the really high uh, lustre refractive index in there. And I have reckon I've solved the mystery of the re recorded diamonds, because if you have a look at some of these tiny little zircon crystals, they're so bright and so sparkly, you can see how massively high the refractive index is. So bigger they'd be fantastic gems. So I would say someone found those back in the 18 whatevers and assumed that they were uh, a diamond, which is a fair mistake to make if you didn't know, because they do really look quite remarkable. So I'm going to take some photos of these pretty little things, add a few to the collection, and I'll take some photos of these and I'll stick them up uh, after this bit of the video and uh, give you a bit of a closer view. Some of these really nice well-formed zircon crystals, but so fractured you can't, yeah, you can't use them for anything other than collector's pieces. So yeah, I'll stick a few photos up, stick links to these different mineral species in the um, the description down below. Uh, thanks heaps for watching folks. Uh, there won't be any voice over the photos following but um, yeah have a look at them if, you, if you're interested. Uh, I hope you actually enjoyed this video because it's a little bit different to a lot of the videos I do. I'm going to try to do a few more gem hunting trips this year because I really enjoy them. Uh, obviously there'll be heaps more mine exploring and fossicking and prospecting and lots of gold videos. Yeah, I'll try to add a few more interesting uh, explores of the countryside and interesting minerals and gemstones. So um, stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It really helps support the channel. Um, enjoy the following photos, and I will be back very, very soon.